The whole market's pumping. You're seeing shit coins pump. You're seeing so many different coins that you don't hold pump. You look at your ICP stack and you just can't understand why ICP is underperforming. So what do you do? You go and sell your ICP for shitcoin with hat that's already put in a 10 million percent candle. That then dumps on you. ICP then breaks out of our $10 zone. You then come to Lex and you say, Lex, is it too late to buy? This is what a lot of people are going to do, guys. And I've been getting so many comments on my ICP videos telling me that ICP is a shitcoin. Now, I think that the people that leave these comments are the human equivalent of shitcoins. They're retards. Over the past six months, I've been saying to you guys consistently to be accumulating ICP, to be accumulating top coins as well. And then also showing you the Bitcoin chart and showing you why the bull run was around the corner. All right, you guys. Name one thing better than sex. Name quite a few things. Bitcoin, 75k. ETH, 3k. Solana, $200. Guess what? ICP under $8 is better than sex. Is that just me being a virgin? I don't know, guys. Maybe I am just a crypto virgin at this point. But I want to say to all of you guys, a lot of good can happen in the month of November. A lot of good can happen in December. A lot of good can happen in 2025. And we're starting to see the initial signs of a lot of good that is about to happen, guys. A lot of our portfolios have pumped. A lot of different coins have pumped. And again, this is why I've said to you over the past six months, over the past year for a lot of you guys who've been watching me, that we need to diversify our portfolio and why I never go all in on one crypto. Because you can miss gains, right? If your one crypto just happens to underperform, then you're going to be left in the dirt and you're probably going to start to have a bit of a mental breakdown because you're seeing everyone else, your friends, your family, your dog who just brought crypto yesterday actually make more gains than you. Now we're going to get into all of our charts at the end of the video, but I know some of you like to see the ICP stuff at the beginning. Break this shit and it's over, okay? We are under a massive level of resistance right now or an accumulation. What have you guys been doing this time? Have you been fading it? Have you been accumulating it? I think a lot of people have been accumulating. But then also a lot of people are just sitting here on their stacks, not seeing the opportunity that is right in front of them, slapping them in the face, saying, come on, do something, do something, do something. A lot of us who hold ICP, we already know why we've bought ICP. We know, we, we've used ICP. We can see the ICP ecosystem grow. We keep a track of everything. Um, we just see it as opportunity and we continue to stack. Other people, the retards, the, the shit coin in human form, they come in and they buy a coin and they say, why hasn't it moved? Everything else has moved and ICP is a shit coin because I bought it at 659 and at 701 it still hasn't moved. Whether you like it or not, Bitcoin is the market leader. Then it goes to ETH. But really, we need Bitcoin to start to push up for a lot of our altcoins to move, guys. And that's what you've seen over the past couple of days while Bitcoin's been breaking the all-time high and confirming it. We've got two more days to confirm the weekly candle. It could get very real very quickly. But look, acceleration time is on the horizon. Now, what has happened to our altcoins every post-election? Okay, we've had a massive surge for our altcoin market cap. Um, this is going to be the total market cap excluding Bitcoin, so it's total two. So it's going to include Ethereum as well. Look where we are for the USA election, guys. It looks like we are around this point. Expansion phase. Something that we'll check out. We're going to check out how much ICP is even being looked into right now. We're still a top, we should be a top 20 coin. I think we're like top 25 at the moment. Actually, go and check. Let's not spread misinformation now. We are top 25. Lovely. I think we were like 26 a couple of days ago. We're a top 25 coin. This is where a lot of the retail is going to come to. They're going to go to CoinMarketCap, go to Coinbase, go to what are the top coins being listed. Let's just buy number one, the meme coins, number two, the, the big caps, right? And then you get some retail that just buy the ones that's like 0.000000001 because they expect it to go to one cent or one dollar or whatever. But Bitcoin at 76k, no one cares. YouTube views are seriously down. Channel's still running up one fourth of what they were. And before I started YouTube, I didn't really get this. And now it's been like, what? Nearly two years on YouTube, nearly at 10k subaroonies. If you're not subbed, then you know what to do. I've been begging you lot for years. Sorry. But I start to see the the impact of when the retail comes back in and, and the view count and everything. And, and to be honest, like the view count is pretty low right now. 
I just thought everyone hated me. But maybe it's going for the whole of crypto YouTube. But a lot of people are going to sit on their hands and they're going to wait for the FOMO candles, okay? We've seen some a lot of FOMO candles yesterday. There was one coin uh, that I've been holding for a long time, MCAD. Holding it, it was dead, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead. It printed a 200% candle yesterday and then all of a sudden everybody wants in the same thing is going to happen for coins like icp guys it's it's inevitable okay total two has broken out of its almost eight month long descending broadening wedge everything's going according to plan next few months will be glorious oh i saw blockchain pill posted this earlier i haven't really watched it in full but over 200 hackers are competing for big cash prizes up to 3,000 attendees are expected to participate in the three-day hackathon vibes are up competition is strong ready set build Definity at ICP Hub still doing their thing. And look, this chart looks messy as hell, okay? It looks messy as hell, but we marked this up a very long time ago, and for everyone that's been on the channel, you've seen this You've seen this chart before, right? We had our long zone here. We had our opportunity of a life zone. We had our worst case scenario zone. All three got hit, okay? All three got hit. This opportunity of a lifetime zone in September really was the opportunity of a lifetime to be getting Bitcoin 55k a lot of people are going to be waiting for that 50k again that they're waiting for 52k okay they're waiting for below this didn't come it came one two three times right we had a triple bottom we spoke about this on the channel before again a reason to be subscribed if you're not already but the same thing is going to happen for a lot of altcoins icp included when it does break out of the opportunity of a lifetime zone when it breaks out of the long zone when it breaks out of the previous highs when it goes into price discovery up here everyone's going to go is it time to long is it time to long? Is it time to buy Lex? It's annoying at this point, guys. So you can either be a pussy and cry about it, or you can look at where we are now. We hit the worst case scenario, everyone leaves the market zone. We're now in between our two lower accumulation levels. Did you buy? I made a video down here. Did you buy at $6.92? I did. I bought more, okay? And... I'm not doing too bad right now, guys. It's only a tiny, tiny, tiny move. So when I make these videos and I'm like, yeah, pump it up, pump it up. I'm saying these things because I can see what is about to happen for ICP. Maybe some people have not got the foresight. A lot of you guys on the channel, you do have the foresight because you are alphas. But these prices won't last forever, guys. As much as it feels like it's lasted forever, this accumulation here has sucked. Well, for people that have got no patience, it sucked. For a lot of us, we've been stacking up ICP. Shout out Mac. He hit his he hit his ICP goals. If any of you guys hit your ICP bag goals, let me know in the comments right now. A lot of you guys, you let me know what you were trying to get to, if you've achieved it, if you haven't. And it's great to see the Lex Money community actually achieve a lot of the goals. And you're going to get rewarded over the next year or so, guys. This is where the money is made. This is where the money is made. This is not where the money is made. The key area of interest at the previous high, $21. You get a 300% head start on this move. Still, clip this. People are going to wait until $20 and they're going to flood in with the should I buy now, Lex? comments don't be a fomo tard guys please a lot of you are super smart a lot of you you've absolutely killed this bear market this altcoin bear market try not to be too fearful in the time where everyone are leaving hate comments they're saying definity is a scam blah, blah 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 do your own due diligence figure it out for yourself that's why i'm so confident you guys let me know how you feel if you made it this far support the journey it's 10k subs by bow clicking that sub button i'm gonna see you in the next one peace